customer at an Olive Garden gets the attention of corporate after she sent an alarming photo purportedly of an insect in food. And while she gets a gift card as an apology, the restaurant gets a visit from kitchen cops for roaches. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. A report about a roach in a plate of fettuccine alfredo at Olive Garden in Harlingen sparks an inspection by the health department. A kitchen cop exposes roaches in multiple areas of the restaurant on August 8th, including in the dining and food preparation areas. Pest control records obtained by the Food Patrol show the action that's been taken to kill the insects. Four days later, a reinspection cleared Olive Garden of the sole problem. But an employee who wishes to remain anonymous says the roaches remain. And until corporate makes changes to the building considered old, the whistleblower says the roaches aren't going anywhere. Unfortunately, our um, establishment is over 20 years old. The worker, whose voice we're disguising for fear of retaliation, claims to love working at Olive Garden and just wants corporate to realize change is needed. They will definitely remain there, regardless of how many pest control treatments we get. Everything is old. Give us the upgrade that we deserve. An Olive Garden corporate spokesperson says the restaurant is now slated for a full remodel, but could not provide a date. Instead, adding in part, quote, there is no ongoing pest issue at our Harlingen restaurant. Restaurant. Both our most recent third-party audit and the City of Harlingen Health Department's inspection just last week found no pest issues whatsoever. Our commitment to safety and cleanliness is something we pursue every day, and it is completely safe to eat in our restaurant, end quote. Antojitos Mexicanos on 357 West Hidalgo in Raymondville is a repeat low performer. The score? 24 demerits. Not on the menu, off-temperature salsa, mayo, and milk. There's evidence of smoking in the rear storage room. Leftover rice, beans, and salsa aren't properly labeled with use-by dates. A cross-contamination violation along with no soap or paper towels for proper sanitation cap off the list. Kato Sushi on 2017 West Expressway 83 in Westsico is a repeat low performer. <laughs> Roaches make up part of the 14 demerits. Management says the insects turned up in the dining room area and that pest control has already corrected the problem. <laughs> this week's feature top performer with zero demerits is churches on 2205 Nolana Avenue in McAllen. Staff wants customers to know they mean business on clean. Fabian Hernandez puts up his store's top performer sticker. Everything is clean. Everything follows procedures and everything is good. You know what we say to that. Keep, Keep it clean. clean. All right, congrats tonight to these additional top performer sticker winners in McAllen, Burger King, Havana Grill, and Konami, and Elsa, Jack in the Box, in Far Papado, Brownsville, Charro Chicken, Charlie's Grill, Italia Express, in Harlingen, Pizza Padron, La Botana Grill, Little Caesars, in Capital City, in Mission, Pizza Hut, Alamo Subway, and China Fresh Express. Remember, kitchens, keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. Well, Food Patrol fans, by the tens of thousands, turned to my Facebook page to share their restaurant experiences and to get the inside scoop on my reports before they hit the air. To join me right now and talk about tonight's story, just search Ryan Wolf.